Hey everybody, it's me Briggs Hill. Hello, hello, hello everybody. Um, this vlog's a little bit early, this vlog of the week. Um, play about 18 hours early or something. Regardless, um, here is what I've been doing this past week. Um, Friday I went to, I, there were many things that happened Friday. Friday was a very busy day. The first thing is I went to the hospital to um, to see a vascular surgeon in regards to my calf issue. Now, they basically checked my veins and such uh, by using you know their hands and a piece of equipment that basically listens in to the vein to make sure that there's no kind of blockages and such. And it turns out that everything's fine. Everything is absolutely super, uh, which means that it can't be the lack of blood getting to my calves that do the um, damage to them. So we're going to have to do something else. I was expecting to actually have an ultrasound there, but for some reason, um, I was, you know, I didn't. Uh, the ultrasound is going to be the next step, which is always fantastic. Uh, I like having ultrasounds. And if you don't understand what I mean um, by what I'm saying, because you can't kind of notice sarcasm, then I'm being sarcastic. I need to put like an asterisk somewhere, or I don't know. Anyway, um, so that was Friday morning. I went to work, and um, I basically uh, got offered a new job in in some ways. It's the job I'm doing now is roughly about 20 hours a week. Um, I do various bits and pieces. Um, sometimes I do computer stuff. Sometimes I do bookkeeping, accountancy stuff, and a variety of other things. Graphic design is in there as well. Um, I've been offered um, a, a new position as well as on top of the 20 hours roughly that I do a week uh, for another 10 hours, and that is purely IT stuff at the local school that I... Uh, that I used to go to when I was younger, which is actually really nice because it means that I know how the school um, kind of runs in a certain way. I also know the location for everything because I spent, I think it was three years there um, of my life. So that is something that was really pleasing on Friday afternoon. So Friday morning, it was I was unhappy. Friday afternoon, I had got gotten back my kind of mojo as it were as being happy about things um, that were progressing in terms of job wise uh, and then I attended a wedding that I told you about last week um, there were aspects of the wedding that I really enjoyed there was some reception um, is what I actually went to I didn't actually go to the, the wedding I went to the reception after the wedding um, there were some aspects that were really really good some really really fantastic things that were there I won't go into any details because obviously, you know, it was kind of a half private event, so I don't particularly want to share anything um, that goes into too much detail. There was loads of people there that was really good to see a lot of their old friends, a lot of the old acquaintances that I barely knew, but it was nice to see them again. A couple of people that I didn't particularly want to see, which I saw. Um, a couple of kind of uh, what's the words to use a couple of small moments of unpleasantness in my eyes but I'm not going to go into any details about it I just wasn't very happy about things um, and then I decided it was time to go home which is fair enough so I went for a little walk uh, while my lift was coming and then I went home and that was it that was Friday night um, overall my experience of the reception was really good everyone was really happy and pleased and and it was great. Let's put it that way. It was great. Um, then it was over to the weekend. Saturday, obviously, if you're a Euro, you would most likely have caught some form of Eurovision Song Contest fever in regards to literally either the fact that the person who won was is a bit gimmicky and, and I think it was purely gimmick that... Um, that won it for her, for her, him, her, him, I don't know, is it him, is it her, I don't know. Regardless, I mean, the fact that, what is it, transvestite, transgender, whatever, I have res utmost respect for those people. What I don't have respect for is um, something like a gimmick to win a competition. I just don't believe in that sort of stuff. Not to say that that person didn't have talent, because they obviously did. They wouldn't have been picked in the first place. It's just purely 
I felt it very gimmicky and a bit cheap. That's all. That's all. Anyway. Um, so that was good. I spent some time with my friend who's about to go travelling and, and off 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 and away somewhere. Um, so it was good to see them and talk and, and have drinks and eats. Drinks and eats. And, um, and that was Saturday. And then Sunday, pretty much just a standard Sunday, really quiet and that. Monday... Which is today, I went to work instead of um, not going to work. <laughs> I went to work instead of not going to work, as you do. Um, I saw PT, P, my PT, and uh, everything's going real, real, real well, real well. Uh, I've stopped smoking, I'm, ba- I'm on to these um, e cigarette things. So technically, I'm still smoking, but none of the bad stuff is coming in to my system apart from the nicotine. Obviously, that's not exactly great for you. Um, and that's it for this past week. It's been a very busy weekend, more than anything. The, the, the past, you know, Thursday and Wednesday wasn't particularly busy, but um, yeah, it's been pretty good this weekend. Um, this f- coming week is going to be fairly quiet, and I'm looking forward to it to a certain extent. I'm looking forward to being able to just sit down and relax a bit. So I've done, I've done quite a lot of walking, quite a lot of exercise. I've not exactly gone. Um, you know, kept 100% with my diet and such, um, so, you know, they counteract each other here and there, but in general, it's been a fairly decent um, week in terms of fitness and exercise and diet and stuff. And coming up, I've got another, I've got another two, um, a couple more PT sessions in the next uh, week uh, that I'm going to be enjoying, hopefully, as much as possible. I've got a quiz that I'm going to next week, but I can tell you about that um, next week. It'll be more interesting then because I know what's know what's actually happened. You'll you'll have passed it and I've actually been to it by then. Anyway, so that is it for this past um, week and for future week, past week, future week. Um, that's it for that. In terms of gaming, um, you won't have seen the uh, Minecraft video that I've put up because I haven't finished editing and rendering it and such. So that will be coming that you can enjoy not watching because <laughs> no one seems to watch any videos that I put up regardless. Um, ooh, so that's Minecraft. I've been playing... What else have I been playing? I've got to actually look. I've just installed Fallout 3, Game of the Year Edition. I haven't actually played it for a long time, and I wanted to try out some of the mods that came with it. Or not came with it, but are now available for it that weren't available when I first played through it. So that should be interesting. And I'm looking forward to that. I've played about three hours, not not even that, about two hours worth of it. Uh, it seems interesting so far, so I'm looking forward to that. And obviously I'm playing World of Tanks. Now, I say I'm playing World of Tanks. I'm actually not playing World of Tanks at the moment. I I don't know what it is about it, but I just joined the clan, okay? The KE clan, K-E-A clan, the Kill and More clan. Uh, and I really enjoy my time there. It's been great. The problem is, is that I'm really starting to kind of go off World of Tanks at the moment. Not because of the way that the game is played, you know, the game is set up and the systems and the engine and stuff. It's not that. It's uh, some of the people that play the game are actually starting to bother me now. And I I feel guilty not performing really well in in some games. And that's not due to clan. clan forget the clan stuff, really. Um, you know, people calling you noobs and you know, it's it's very it's very internet troll sort of stuff. You know, bully sort of stuff. But I've never been an ad. You know, I can just twitch switch things off. That's how I roll with it. So that's what effectively I'm doing. It's not really aimed just at me. It's the whole kind of community, the North America community. This seems quite toxic in toxic in places, and. Um, and so I'm going to take a, a small break, you know, two or three days worth, just to clear my head. And I'll come back to it. And if I'm playing well, then I'll stick with it. But if I'm not going to be playing well, if I'm not enjoying the game, then I'm not going to bother. I'm not going to play with it. I'm not going to play it. So. Oh. Door. Back in a minute. Bong, 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 bong. Back. Um, that's the door. I've literally been like two minutes. Instant cut. Instant cut. Anyway, um. What was I saying? World of Tanks. Yeah, so I'm going to take a break. World of Tanks. 
Um, I don't. It's a very. This is going to get really rambly, so bear with me. Let me just get, get comfortable. Yeah, you get comfortable too. Yeah. Um, I have issues when it comes to addictiveness when it, get in games. If I'm really loving a game, right, I will have this very strange feeling where um, I'll play for a long time. I'll play for a long, straight time, two, three hours sort of deal. As that's not that long, but you know what I mean. And then I'll take a break and I'll think, oh, I'll do something else in a minute. I'll do some of this, and inevitably I come back to the computer and I, it's almost like a, you know, an instant thing. Icon, there we go, back on. I have to play another two or three hours, and then my interest in these sort of games it wanes after a certain period of time. So I'll spend less and less time playing it. When it comes to these addictive games like World of Tanks, for instance, and Col the, the Call of Duties have done it to me in the past. I've felt kind of half guilty about actually wanting to play the game because I knew the amount of time that I spent playing it uh, was not particularly healthy. I mean, there are there are healthy ways to play games. You know, you play for an hour, have a break for 10, 15, 20 minutes, half an hour, go for a walk, whatever, and then come back at it if you want to. I have abused that for years. I've never really done that. It's only been in t until recently that I've kind of matured when it comes to that sort of thing where I do kind of, I have to get up at least once an hour, um, you know, to do a variety of diff different things. And so that kind of that kind of breaks it up. But for some people, obviously, they don't. They just literally play right through. And there's this kind of, there's a very strange feeling that I get that I say to myself, I'm not going to play the game, I'm not going to play the game, I'm not going to play the game. And I sit down and I you know, I look at the computer and I think, well, I could play the game now, can I? I could play that game. I could play it. And then I inevitably give in, as it were. It's like I'm trying to battle against myself to play the game. And if I don't play the game, I feel, ba I, don't, I don't know what it is, I feel bad about it sort of thing. And I felt that way, that way about World of Tanks last like two or three, four or five days, where I've kind of said to myself, I don't really want to play it at the moment. But then there's that other side that says, oh, what well, you do want to play though, don't you? And so when I've got into a game as such, I felt the need that the side of me that really wanted to play the game, really wanted me to play the game very well. And then there's the conflict that happens where I make a mistake, you know, I make a set of mistakes, and there we go, that's the way it is. I mean, none of this really makes any sense to anyone who has never played games before or any, any kind of, um, you know, that sort of thing that you get addicted to. There's, it's very strange to talk about, so, and it doesn't really make much sense. It makes sense to me in a very strange way. Um, and so what I am planning to do is literally what I've just said. I'm going to take a break and, and I'm, I'm going to literally enforce the break, break by deleting the shortcut from my desktop because what happens when I delete my short, shortcut from the desktop it, it, I can still play the game if I go into the start menu or if I go into the documents and actually find the executable but if I delete it from the desktop it means that I can't see it when I sit at the computer which means that I'm less likely to want to play it and therefore less likely to feel bad about playing it, if that understand. There's another side with World of Tanks, because there's a side that you pay money in certain areas to to progress in certain areas. So you might buy gold, or you might buy a tank, or whatever, with real money. And, you know, there is that kind of pressure to keep buying gold, keep buying tanks like Candy Crush for instance and so I tend to spend spend too much money on it I seriously spend too much money on world tanks, There's I spend like 30 quid a month or something, 30 or 40 quid a month, for some people that's nothing but I mean I play it for 3 months at a time sort of deal, so I'm spending like 100 quid something like that, for the 3 months that I play I mean, that's like three new games, really, isn't it? Roughly. And so, it's never really a new game to me. So I don't get that instant kick of having a new game to play. You know, the new experiences and stuff. Because there's nothing... 
there's nothing new about it really so there's there's kind of those strange kind of things that happen within the game with regards to money and the community and all this kind of stuff that's kind of put me off a lot in the last few days and as such I will be taking an enforced break of two or three days just to see if I can get my head back on straight with it I mean it's not that important really will tanks it's not that important in the whole whole you know plan of things so I'll just go from there um, that's it on the game front thanks very much everyone for watching if you have any questions and such please put them in the comments below uh, if you like this video and all that then you know what to do if you didn't then fuck off no I'm joking don't fuck off just go away nicely okay um, see you next time next week enjoy the beautiful weather and the rain and everything else bye bye